the other practices um, that I've been uh, introducing into my, my teaching have been through recording software such as Panopto and that's been a project that I did on behalf of the university. Um, I initially started using that in terms of just straight recordings, okay, so I turned up, did my lecture, recorded it and some students used it, some students didn't. Um, I was a bit um, worried that students wouldn't turn up but they did. Um, so I found that most students um, tended to use it towards exam periods um, where they were um, brushing up on their notes um, but also um, through conversations with the students and also um, focus groups that I had organized across the 17 departments at the time learned that a lot of students with dyslexia were using them um, as well as students who had been taken ill such as glandular fever for example they would not have been able to catch up as well as they did um, if they hadn't had the just normal recording of a lecture um, they would have had to be um, scraping around notes from their friends and um, well reading the textbook I guess and, and that's not necessarily a bad thing it was just easier um, catching up more quickly using Panopto so they did it uh, this particular example the student was able to do it in bed um, whilst also reading the textbooks to supplement as well um, international students have commented on, on uh, using Panopto as well after where they may have missing um, parts of their notes. Um, so accents can be a struggle um, for, for them and have international lecturers as well, but also strong British accents can throw the international students a bit as well. So they've made use of it and that was quite interesting um, to learn about these benefits that I hadn't initially thought of. Um, so in this instance I did just kind of use technology not knowing really the benefits or the consequences um, but it, it, it seems to have benefited more than and, um, really distracted from the, the main goal of, of lectures. Um, so how I've decided to improve or enhance the use of Panopto, um, again I've, I've taken to reading uh, a little bit around the subject and, and trying to find good practice in other universities or through within this university and I've started to really do bite-sized videos because I, I noticed um, when I was teaching on a kind of um, statistical uh, module that I was getting a lot of emails um, about how to um, perform certain analyses despite um, giving handouts and um, writing long emails describing it I decided that there must be an easier way and the pre-recording uh, aspects of Panopto really kind of gave me the opportunity to summarize the most uh, common theme or, or the common theme in the emails um, and then answer everybody all at once and provide them with something that they can keep referring back to if they didn't understand so I would literally make several how-to videos for them as well um, and my emails went down which is great um, because the responding was taking quite a while individually um, so that's one way that I've kind of benefited from using that software as well um, I'm planning on using a flipped classroom for next semester, uh, sorry, next academic session where I will be blocking a lot of my uh, teaching period. So this is something I've, I've had to ask permission for to kind of block my uh, lecture time and contact hours into the first three or four weeks um, of, of the academic session. Um, they will be flipped to classrooms and the lecture contact time will be used then for uh, kind of seminar um, or group work. Um, details I'm still planning um, so it, it will be a large class so I am a bit worried um, at the moment but I think um, splitting the classes up into uh, smaller groups across the week um, so kind of two repeated classes um, or two or three um, will give me a minor increase in time but hopefully better learning experiences for the students um, and then the assessments are consolidated in the last few weeks of term as well so that they're not um, kind of cramming everything in terms of, of uh, uh, revision. So they have um, at least a, a three or four week period to kind of learn, the, go over the material, um, do some extra reading before they present their assessments which is completely based on action learning. So they'll have to turn up and um, perform something. So I usually get them interviewing in class um, uh, each other 
um, the, the actual module is a, a his, history of psychology module um, and the reason why I've chosen action learning is because um, it's a pretty boring subject really um, so I'm trying to bring it to life with them uh, for them and part of it is getting them to interview each other as though they were going for a job but presenting themselves as maybe Aristotle or, or um, um, Plato and asking them exactly what they can offer today's society in terms of um, psychological thinking. Very difficult task but a very fun task as well. Um, the other way I've, I've managed to do this is get them to use their iPhones for those groups that have had it um, to use the Panopto feature on their phones where they've made their own kind of recordings and uploaded it to the service as well. Um, so once I've, I've, I've got the details sorted I think I'll have a, a very different module um, to how it has been in the past so I'm still looking forward to the end result but I'm a bit scared about it as well. I think my main advice to those wishing to use technology um, on, but don't know how to maybe integrate it into the, uh, the kind of learning activities or the learning environment is to first off have a look what's available through kind of the good practice websites um, in the university through the Blackboard team um, and try to speak to as many people as possible, senior, junior, um, I, I find inspiration from all levels in, in other lecturers and not necessarily lecturers as well actually. Um, just speaking to staff that are involved with technology through information services, for example, who have given me a few ideas um, about some of the readings that they've come across as well. So if, um, in terms of using technology, don't just tr uh, stick to those that are actually practicing the, the teaching or performing the teaching duties. Um, there are people out there that also know quite a lot about how this stuff works in, in uh, education as well. So if you do get the opportunity to, to make use of those members of staff as well, do so because um, I've benefited quite, quite a lot from uh, learning what's available and what can be done um, outside of my current learn, uh, context, uh, sorry, departmental context.